Hey, y'all, it's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of my Right Botanicals. Please like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. Here we plant seeds to help you get your mind right. So let's see which king or queen, zodiac or element, is going to help us plant a seed for the collective. Let's see who the Holy Spirit wants to use to help us get out a message at this time. Holy Spirit, King of Cups, okay? Let's see what the messages are surrounding King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Let's see what they need to know or what we need to know surrounding their energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages from you through me at this time, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. What do you want us to know from you through me at this time surrounding King of Cups, Masculine, Water, Sun, Energy, Holy Spirit, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio? Let's go. Let's see. Medicine Woman. Candle Work. Read some scripture. A King of Cups have, has done all of these things in order to get better, to evolve possibly, to recover from some sort of karmic situation. I think this King of Cups is moving in silence because people may not understand his methods, what he believes in. Because he's used a medicine woman, candle work, and scripture to help him get in alignment, to help him grow and recover and heal here. So he's mixing things up, but it's working for him and it's getting him back in alignment with his divine feminine. But this is universal law. What you send out, you will receive. So this man is trying to send out positive energy he's trying to be a better person be good to others and that's what he he's going to get in return he's going to get that woman who's going to treat him right and cherish him and support him and be a safety net for him at times if needed because he's going to be all of those things for her in return the universe will know that based upon his growth and recovery, if he's ready to receive that type of feminine. And this King of Cups is. He could be in the South or she could be located in the South. Okay, but somebody's mad about his forward movement, his growth and recovery. The elements are most definitely at play in his life though. Because he's using all kind of different elements to heal himself and somebody's mad that he's evolving in this way they don't like it they've been trying to throw confusion spells on him but this medicine woman got that okay whoever this is they most definitely have lost their companionship with this king of cups i miss you is in reverse Okay. So he's definitely connecting with the universe, connecting with the spiritual realm, getting some serious healing and understanding about what else life could look like. You know, he's seeing it from the other side for sure. Actions speak louder than my words. I feel like this is why he's moving in silence. Because it ain't no need to try to tell you, if you're listening, Divine Feminine, okay, what he's doing. He's going to show you and how he presents himself to you in the future. This going to be a different man. Honey, you're going to have to catch your breath. Even though this says breathe, I'm telling you, you're going to have to breathe through your shock at how he comes off. 
to you in the future because you ain't go, you don't know this king of cups this king of cups has evolved like you have that's what i'm hearing police it's gonna be a 911 type of situation honey you might feel like you having a heart attack their heart going to start papillating when you see this King of Cups because his growth is astounding. But I, I'm hearing again, your growth is astounding. People can't believe how balanced in and in alignment you are. The Most High God is so good. Look at how far you've come. Okay, you've really evolved into a unicorn energy. That's this masculine too. Him going back to the source, getting back to basics, letting go of a lot of low vibrational behavior, karmic behavior, shit that he know he not supposed to be doing. Letting go of a very karmic partnership as well is how he's been able to heal and grow. He done took some financial losses but he realizes that money ain't a measure of his blessings. So he's even getting that lesson. He may have always been on vacation with this other person that he ended up being at war with. And that may be why his money was dwindling. Okay. And if this person was doing any magic, that got something to do with it as well. That may also be why he's moving in silence because he don't want people to judge what he's doing spiritually because there may be some question about what he was doing spiritually with this third party. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Queen. The person that he used to call his queen. There, There's this energy like people were questioning what they were doing to be abundant. They may have been doing magic, but they were spending up money too. And he's having to rebuild past life. Rebuild his finances somehow here. Past life energy. I feel like this was a past life lesson. I feel like the last time he didn't learn it, but this time he is. He had to take some losses. But cloudy days don't always mean rain, child. You know, he's optimistic. He's not letting this deter him, his financial situation. And 808 is on the clock. Because mm. he's, he's got the inner will the ability to recover financially if he's recovering in these other ways that financial aspect ain't nothing and he knows that this man may have divorced this karmic that he used to call his queen now and she upset because she has lost this masculine who is now prepping himself to become your divine counterpart. This man has really tapped into who he truly is. I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked at how gifted, skilled, and talented he comes off to you. You do not know him on this, this level. You don't know him in this vibration. But part of the reason why he's been able to evolve and grow into who he is was meant to be just like you have is because he asked for forgiveness for what he'd done that wasn't right and he forgave himself for what he hadn't done for what he has done excuse me that wasn't right and he's evolved into some sort of sh shaman energy you in this unicorn energy divine feminine energy this man is has become some sort of shaman energy when he might have been out here on some whole shit. That might have been part of his low vibration, low vibrational behavior. And it's something like he thought he was Mr. Lover Lover now. Coming out here as this King of Cups. 
But he learned, he learned that people was actually siphoning and stealing from him, his blood and his money. That's why I'm getting off of it, this right here. Siphoning his energy in multiple ways. And I can't make it up. That's crazy. That's behind that like that. Because that's what they was doing. He's realized that. He thought he was just a, a ladies man, but he realizes that ladies were purposely hooking up with him because of what he has to offer in so many ways. They was harvesting off his ass. But now he want to follow tradition, child. It's coming out quick. He want to follow tradition. Yes, he may have cheated on you in the past. But now he's asking you to teach him how to love. Somebody king of cups, okay? Let's get a little bit of tarot on it and then we're going to close. I'm only doing this reading because I had put out a reading on my other channel and I had to delete it because I don't think the masses is ready for that one. It ain't a whole bunch of people that watch my page like that. You know, I get views, but I just don't know if everybody was ready to hear what was being said on that, that reading. It was, it was a lot. So I just decided to delete it and just do another one for this platform. So Holy Spirit, what else does the collective need to know surrounding this King of Cups energy? Before we close, please and thank you. What else does this masculine need to know? Please and thank you. Then we're going to close. We're not going to stay here too long, too much longer. Let's go. Six of Swords. Yeah, we about to move on to Common Waters for the evening. <laughs> but he moved on to Car Common Waters away from you. You weren't sure who he was partnering with. But he bossed up for this person secret in secret. It wasn't known that he was with this third party, but he he actively tried to be a stable partner for her. They could have a child together. He married her. Even though their connection was a Knight of Wands high priestess. And that's why it ended up in a Ten of Swords. That's why he divorced her. That's why the connection has been lost. They did have a child together. So this masculine has had a child with whoever this is. Okay? So he's going to have to follow some sort of routine of integrity. Some sort of plan. He probably got some sort of child support plan in place for almost said his son, he could have a son with this woman. Somebody could be a Leo. The woman he moved on to, she could be a Leo. So he has some sort of financial plan to support their child. He, If they got a divorce, I'm sure he was placed on some sort of child support or alimony. But that's not stopping him from having options with you in life moving forward, okay? He figuring it out. He figuring it out how he can have a partnership with you. This masculine could have Pisces somewhere prominently in his chart. Moon energy. He is moving in silence. Moon with the four of uh, pentacles. He don't want nobody to know what he got going on. Eight of swords. Because he don't want nobody to restrict his forward movement. And not just towards you, but his growth. Overall, he don't want to mess up what he's trying to achieve mentally, spiritually, emotionally. But he does plan to come towards you. He ain't going to have as much as he probably used to have, I'm sure, from what's has hit the table. But he still want to give, give you all he got. It's going to be reciprocal. He knows you are his ideal love choice. He a Pisces. That's what I'm getting. A Pisces emperor energy. Death didn't hit the table. He may have Scorpio. 
I mean, we got Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio out here for him, though. He may have all of the water signs in his chart. But you are the Empress. He knows it because he's, he's awakened. That's what this death energy is giving me. His awakening has caused him to end a lot of things in his life that just were not in alignment. And as he healed, I'm telling you, as he healed, you were being revealed to him more and more. He could see you. He could see you the way he was in the past, but he see you now. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Five of Cups. He regrets how he treated you in the past. But he's definitely using all of this knowledge and foresight, even hindsight. Okay, with this Three of Wands to help him move forward in a positive way. To do better. Act right. And give you the commitment and the offer you deserve, child. Shit, that's just what it is. We ain't even, you know, we're not wasting no time about this Knight of Wands, Sun energy. He he didn't handle that. That's not of none of your concern. Of course, he it's going to be a part. I'm telling you, Four of Cups, it's none of your concern. He taking care of that. He know what he got to do and say. And he's going to encourage you in such a way that you ain't ever going to have to worry about your money being put towards that. It's something like that. Like he's put in place some sort of financial plan where the money just going to be pulled straight from that account or whatever it is to give to this mother and child. You ain't never going to have to worry. Look, hangman didn't hit. You're not never going to have to worry about coming out of your pocket to care for that because he's already sewed that up tight. He didn't got that squared away, honey. I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to drop the mic there. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gave you the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest and I'll be back soon with another one.